Back to the workplace. This is a topic that breeds strong opinions from employers and employees. WPTV News Channel 5 has more on how businesses are changing their office space and their culture to entice people back. In downtown West Palm Beach, another office building stands tall. From the naked eye, nothing especially unique. But inside, the tangible. We have couches, we have more lounge chairs, we have a hammock. An intangible, changed by the pandemic. Embracing the small talk, for example. We really are encouraging people to feel like they're connected to other humans, that they have an opportunity to share with one another. Um, that the world is different. Shayna Ostrovich is the executive director of 1909 in downtown West Palm Beach. Businesses, small and large, are trying to entice workers back into the office. We've kept a lot of the opportunities for people to plug in virtually. We have a call Monday mornings that people can just jump on Zoom. Courtney Campbell of Campbell Creative in Delray Beach is a branding strategist working with companies on this very topic. She says, start with your physical space. Ask business owners, like, take a minute, take yourself out of it, make yourself an employee that's been working home. If they walk back in the door of this office space, what about your environment is inviting or is welcoming? Campbell says what used to be simply a functional place maybe had no need for improvement. People came to work to do their job, to be productive and to leave. Now it needs to be reimagined into a space that feels inviting and welcoming and in most cases inspiring and engaging and has these different work environments where people who've gotten really comfortable working on the couch and super productive, how do you translate that into your space? You don't need to recreate home with TVs and sofas, but... People don't want to go back and if I'm honest, some of these offices that we're walking in, I wouldn't want to go back. And it's, be, it's not because the company is not great. One thing that Courtney recommends, if it's possible, to incorporate an outdoor space into your office and let your employees know you're taking the pandemic seriously and giving other options for places to meet. It's a combination between being able to shake up the scenario of what you of sitting at your desk and the monotony and also now giving you kind of that safer place to meet with people. She acknowledges this all costs money. You may not be able to do it all right now, but you're making an effort. Showing steps to improvement goes a long way with employees. Some of that is literally down to the lighting that the businesses have in there. Do you have any natural light? Do you have any plants in there? Creative ways to make a ping pong table into a conference room table. It doesn't mean that you play ping pong every day, but there's something about the possibility that you could play ping pong that feels way more inviting than a traditional manila conference table. Tori Dunnan, WPTV, News Channel 5. Well, science